Well, no more horse drawn carriages in San Antonio. That's the goal of a new pro proposition spearheaded by two members of city council. They say animal cruelty and harm to the environment justify this change now. Ken's Five's Alicia Neaves learned both sides of the story. Monday, San Antonio city leaders again called for a ban on horse-drawn carriages. Spearheaded by Councilman Jalen McKee Rodriguez and Phyllis Viagran, the proposal requests the city come up with a plan to phase out this practice. San Antonio can set the pace for the rest of the country. Marty Irby, the executive director of Animal Wellness Action, is pushing for these bans in all major cities. Well, I'm a lifelong horseman, so I know a lot about the biomechanics and the biology of horses, and they're really not suited to walk around on asphalt every day. Council members cite hard labor during extreme weather, a lack of pasture access, and environmental impacts like idling cars and slowed traffic caused by the carriages. I think the biggest pushback is jobs because people are talking about the fact that they're carriage drivers or they're caretakers of the horses. So what we want to see is these carriages actually replaced with electric carriages. This was dropped on our toes with no warning whatsoever. Stephanie Garcia manages 30 workers with Yellow Rose and HRH Carriage. She read the proposal and said the reasonings are not true. We're highly regulated by the city by Chapter 33 of the ordinance. Uh, part of that is we're not allowed to work when the temperature is above 95. These horses are treat like royalty. My horses have a chiropractor, a dentist, a specialist barrier. They have specialist vets. I have several vets if I need them. They're inspected three times a year. They go into a pasture every day. She says she wasn't approached by any city leaders to discuss the ban. If this business isn't here to pay for everything and to care for them like they are, there's a good strong possibility that these horses may have to be euthanized. City officials say a press conference is planned for next week where council members will go into further detail about this proposal. Supporters want this up for a vote. Meanwhile, the cavalry group started a petition to keep these horses downtown. Learn more by visiting Kens5.com. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Neavis, Kens5. Thank you, Alicia.